Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So today here you'll see that I have another Armando Simone Club box. And I have recently reviewed the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild Side. Uh, this is the Bologna Extra Arco Verde. Uh, and I'd also previously to before the Wild Side reviewed the uh, um, Bologna Extra Arco Brown. But today I have the Verde here. So it comes in this uh, outer box. If I remove the box, you get this like a tissue paper type thing that you'll get in shoe boxes. And then you see this uh, box here, which is a box that has like a Greek key on it, which is actually um, something that Omas pens would have. So let me um, remove this. And this is an Omas celluloid. Um, and it is becoming quite rare now um, so as you can see here ASC logo and Armando Simone Club now the box here has a magnetic um, clip here and if I open it up you'll see here no compromise our pens are 100% handmade in Italy and we are proud of that and um, that is 100% true they are made in Italy um, and you can see here if I remove this the pen sits in this floating or uh, box and it just levitates here. Um, so if I just move that out of the way, just for the time being, um, you have uh, a plinth here that you can remove out with a tab. And it says, uh, we believe in making great pens. We believe beauty is the essence of each pen. We insist only in excellence. Attention to detail and craftsmanship is what we strive for. We design every pen with you, our collector, in mind. Our box will, t will protect your precious pen from rust and humidity. We believe safeguarding the planet and its resources is of vital importance for humanity. ASE takes the lead in reducing its carbon footprint in our new packaging. After all, we are pen makers, not box collectors. Now, another thing here is you get this card, uh, and uh, uh, this is signed from Salvatore, who actually... Uh, turns these pens uh, from Leonardo pens he turns them on uh, on behalf of Armando Simone Club makes them for them now in terms of um, uh, the box uh, I think a lot of people would prefer when you're spending a thousand dollars or more uh, a slightly better box um, but I also know that there are two camps of people one that that uh, prefer a, a larger heavier box um, but then if you're adding too many pens to your collection in that range, you get too many big boxes. Um, so some people keep the boxes, some people chuck them out. Um, I, I don't know, like, I prefer the bigger boxes, to be honest. But more recently, I prefer the smaller boxes. So I, I guess it, it really depends on you and how you prefer a pen to be packaged. Um, but I do think these boxes are quite nice. And I do like this magnetic box. And likewise, I do like this magnetic uh, levitating um, display box. Um, so let me open that, and it's magnet as well. Open this up and remove it. Uh, you get a uh, ASC medallion there as well. And if I just remove that off, uh, you will see the pen. Now, this is, as I said, the Armando Saboni Club Bologna extra arco verde in a gold trim now i'll show you something else i also have it in a rhodium trim or a silver trim um and i decided i was going to buy one of these because i have one arco brown and i can actually show you what the arco brown looks like and I do like these pens and as you can see <laughs> I have three here and I actually have a few more than that but um, for this video I will just show you that, that I have three and I couldn't make up my mind here between the gold trim or the rhodium trim so I was looking and I looked at so many different photos I could find online I kind of like the gold trim more, but then with this like silvery green Arco Verde pattern, I kind of thought that the rhodium trim looked better.
So, even after that, <laughs> I still couldn't make up my mind. So, <clears throat> I decided I'd get both. So, I decided I would get a gold trim and a rhodium trim. And as you can see, these pens are absolutely gorgeous. Um, these are Omar's celluloids. Omar's went, uh, went out of business. They apparently will be uh, revived uh, at some point in 2018 and will start uh, production again. They, as I understand it, do not have any of the Arco celluloids, but maybe they do. Um, but uh, I believe Armando Semeni Club bought out most of the Arco, if not all of the Arco celluloids. Um, and there are a few Arco celluloids floating around that you see custom pens made out of. Um, but these are the Arco Verdes, and as you can see, these are absolutely stunning. Um, and I'll, I'll show you these. Um, what I'll do, let's move this one out of the way. Um, now, the thing with these, and some people like this and some people don't, is that uh, very similar to like the Pelican uh, Ocean, M805 Ocean Swirl, you'll see that there are areas of the pen, or at least half of the pen, that is in this really lovely sort of Arco Silver. And then as you rotate it, you get a dark area. And then you rotate it again, and you get again the arco area and then you rotate it again and so basically you get, you get two quarters or, or half the pen in this arco and it's not just the arco verde i'll show you here the arco brown and you have exactly the same going on there as well so uh, it's just something to bear in mind uh, when you get these pens you're not going to get this lovely stunning arco pattern all the way around the pen um, this doesn't bother me i really do love these pens so just like the wild side and the arco brown you have a uh, almost like a um, pointed finial here just slightly pointed on the cap the roller clip on the cap here uh, you have an armando simone club or asc um, medallion here and then you have the greek key band that goes around which uh, i believe is laser etched um, but this isn't as doesn't feel as sharp as my wild side, strangely enough. So maybe they've actually improved that. But you can see here, this material is absolutely stunning. Uh, the pen tapers down um, from the, the cap band and comes down to the filler knob. Now, if I unscrew the pen here, you will see it comes with an 18 karat magic flex nib. Uh, and on this one it's gold and if I try and stop the pen rolling away I'll show you on this one it's a rhodium or silver trim so you can see there that the the, the difference on these and likewise you have the gold trims here on the the Greek keyband and a rhodium trim and then coming back here you have the same on this this band here so so in terms of filling the pen, um, I will show you how you do that. What you do is you unscrew, and it's got some very long threads here, as you can see here. And you pull out this piston here. And what you do, and I'll show you if I unscrew this, this is what it looks like inside. You have a brass filler. Uh, here with a sack so what happens is again this is a lot of threads but what happens is you pull this out you submerge this into your bottle of ink now there is a hole here in the um, knob in the filling knob so you put your finger over that hole and you press this down that creates a vacuum inside the sack you let your finger off and that vacuum pushes the air out and it sucks the ink up into the pen. Uh, and that's basically how you ink it. And likewise, if you want to flush the pen out, you do the same thing. But instead of putting the pen in a bottle of ink, you put it in a, uh, in a glass of water. Uh, and, and that's how you ink the pen up. Now, I'll show you a little bit more of this Magic Flex nib. So this these nibs are laser engraved. And... When you ink the pen up, the arrow heads here um, and, and any of the, the similar color parts 
will actually um, capture ink so the nib will get a little bit dirty um, but this is the magic flex nib as you can see here and uh, there is no designation on what nib width this is uh, I believe it comes more as a fine nib um, it writes quite wet so it writes more like a medium uh, I would say um, and you can flex it by the terms of the nib it is called magic flex but it's nowhere near a uh, modern flex or a vintage flex nib uh, but it is a gorgeous gorgeous nib um, so that's really it for about the pen uh, I guess in terms of size you can see here it is a long pen it's not a short pen and it's it's a moderately heavy pen now if I try to post the cap you'll see it is a, an absolute wand uh, and I never never normally do that um, so I I would actually uh, just use it as is now in terms of length uh, I will show you here the length of the pen is around about 158 millimeters in length the cap is 70 millimeters in length and then the body of the pen from the tip of the tines we're looking at about 147 148 millimeters now this is a number eight size nib so if you're used to a number five or a number six style nib number six are normally considered for oversized pens so a number size a number eight size nib is effectively the same as what you would get on a pelican m1000 uh, or uh, you get i think it's a number nine size nib on a uh, mont blanc 149 um so it is a large nib um but this is a pen that i really do like i love the um swirls on here now you will find that you have to, with all of these Arcos, whether or not it's from Armando Simone Club or not, you will always have to try and get these patterns to line up. There is a number of threads, and you just have to get them keyed correctly for them to line up. But as you can see here, th these pens are absolutely stunning. Um, and I really, really do love these Arco Verdes. So, for me... I decided in the end I would get one of each trim. Um, I really do like this. Um, these pens write perfectly out of the box. Um, and uh, I um, I really do like them. So um, I, I I do love these Arco pens. I have a number of Omos uh, Arco Browns. Um, and I wanted to add some Arco Verdes uh, to my collection. Um, and although I tend to like more broad nibs or stub nibs more lately, and that's what I've been buying, uh, since I've actually got my Arco uh, Brown uh, pen uh, writing perfectly, uh, I really wanted to add a few more of these to, to my collection there. So these are um, really lovely writers. So I think uh, let's do a writing sample for these. So this... Uh, is the Armando Simone Club and it's a Bologna Extra uh, and it's the Arco I'm going to run out of space here and it's the uh, Verde now um, this is uh, the 18k, 18 carat gold uh, magic flex nib. Now the ink I have uh, got inked up here is um, Akamon Bazurden. Now I never know how to pronounce this wood. Gron. Now, in terms of line variation, now this is a what they term magic flex nib, but I try not to flex it that much. In normal line variation, you get more of a fine line. Now, you can push it so that you get at least double, if not triple, the line variation. And I'll show you here on the figure of eights. 
you can see here that you can coax quite a bit of line variation out of this pen. Now, in terms of wetness test, <laughs> this is a very, very wet pen. <laughs> you can see that. This is what I would call a tsunami nib. Now, you get dry, you get wet, you get very wet, you get fire hose, and now you get a crazy tsunami nib. Um, <laughs> so that, as you can see, is a very wet nib. Now, just to show you how wet this is, I am going to smudge all of that ink. <laughs> it's, that is how wet this nib writes. So there are plus sides. The nib actually um, feels really smooth when you're writing on the page. Um, however, if you're writing in a notebook, you are obviously going to have problems with having to wait for the ink to dry. Now, I would much prefer a wetter nib than a drier nib nowadays. Um, but this obviously depends on how you feel. Um, these are absolutely lovely, stunning pens. And I am really, really glad that I was able to add these pens to my collection. Um, and... Uh, for me, these these are beautiful, beautiful specimens, and I really do love them. I think Armando Money Club, and I think um, uh, Salvatore, who um, turned these pens, has done them real justice, and I really do like these. And I'm glad that I also have previously the um, Arco Brown version of the pen, and just before I picked up the Arco Verdes, I added the Wild Side. So now you can see here, I have all four pens. Um, do I like these pens? Yes, I do. I do like these pens a lot. I wouldn't have bought these four finishes in this pen if I didn't like it. Uh, my initial experience with the Arco Brown wasn't a great one. I had a nib that wasn't seated properly and the tines, because of that, were misaligned. I had the nib replaced. Uh, the nib wrote pretty well, but not spectacularly. Uh, in the last six months, more so the last couple of months, I've actually managed to improve it to the point that it writes spectacularly now. Um, the other nibs here, uh, I've not had any problems with. And... Um, these uh, are really, really nice um, pens. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.